Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to another week here with us at The Handy Creators. Thank you so much for joining us on another video. If you're new here, my name's Jesus and this is my wife Adriana. In today's video, we figured we'd do something a little bit different. It's been a while since we do a garden tour. I think the last time we did one, we were at 1,000 subscribers. I know. And a lot has happened since, since then. So we figured we'd show you around and take you on a harvesting day with us as we go ahead and pick up everything here in our garden. Yeah, it's so exciting because, well, it's the beginning of, I, I mean, we live in Florida, so it's been summer for a while now, but <laughs> it's the beginning of summer technically. So the stuff are blooming. We have beautiful roses and everything, as you see, looks kind of a jungle behind us. So the upkeep right now, it's a lot. So we thought, let's get the camera. Let's pick some tomatoes. Let's pick some you know herbs and let's show you guys and just do something like i would call it like happy content so let's go let's go and grab our clippers and tackle this garden just close your eyes and let them rest i know it's hard to fall asleep but do your best because there's a place that i go to when I want to hide from all the shades of blue Cause at times I think of leaving My mind takes me back to fall When the snow begins to sing at night to warm I'm counting years as they go by Now all the lilies are gone and aces brought to life Cause at times I think I'm leaving My mind takes me back to fall When the snow begins to sing For those of you that haven't realized, I cut my hair. <laughs> One of the reasons why I did it was because last time we were out here, we were just trimming some tomato branches like this. And with the long hair, I didn't have a hat on. So then my hair is just dangling down and I feel something tug at me. No, I tell him, ten cuidado because- Tremendo Spanglish. <laughs> ten cuidado because there's un gusano. Like I literally tell him like that. So in other words, I'm telling him, hey, be careful because I'm looking at the at the leaves and I could tell that there was a worm and it had been raining a lot. So usually the tomato plants get full of like worms and stuff. And the moment I'm telling him, I just go, ow! And she's like, what happened? And when I looked down, there was like this vicious hair eating <laughs> caterpillar that just decided to pull on my luscious hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was one of those like green ones. We'll put like a picture on the screen, but- I don't know, but this one was like, had rabies or something because yeah. that thing was like, 
vicious. Well, and then after, like, I'm trying to get it and, like, take it out. And it attacked my tweezers. <laughs> it does, like, the fighting stance. It goes, like... <laughs> it kind of, like, reminded me of Bailey, like, in this picture. When she gets, when, like, when I play with her, that she goes, like... <laughs> like that. Like, I, I saw that and I saw the, and I saw the caterpillar. Uh, you imagine going to the hospital because you got bit by a caterpillar, like, freaking out because you think you're going to turn into a butterfly or something? <laughs> Let's try a little pepper. No, my God, I love these. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> he plants the seeds, and then I have little bushes of seeds growing everywhere. Here. Yo lo regaño, but then I encourage him. <laughs> You're gonna have like 30 plants there. And when we mean 30 plants, this is what we mean. <laughs> so here, it was one where I put the little peppers that we ate. And look at this. <laughs> There's like at least 20 or 30 different plants there that we now have to split up because if not, they're just gonna die, so. So I personally like to harvest my tomatoes a bit still on the green side. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get this one. Because I don't love soft tomatoes. I actually love green tomatoes. So, and this variety of tomato gets, they're very juicy. So if you let them get super ripe, they're like super soft, which is good for certain things. But if you are not into that, just harvest them a little green and they will last longer. So we were told once that when your jala, this is just a few of them, that when your jalapenos have this little like um, stripes or like crevices, that means that they're gonna be even spicier. These jalapenos will burn your mouth off. <laughs> I gave a few to my dad because he's been trying to grow jalapenos for a while now, and for some reason, like I struggle to grow cachucha peppers. My parents like have abundance i have abundance of sweet peppers my parents can't seem to get one plant so that's kind of what happens with the jalapeno like i have a plant my parents can't just seem to grow one right i gave him a few and i tell him i'm like be careful like they're really spicy <laughs> like i gave him some little ones because i know my dad and like my dad doesn't tolerate spicy too well <laughs> he's like I just got a little piece inside my salad and my head is sweating. <laughs> They're spicy, you guys. So Jesus has burnt his lips off that he's been in the sink trying to get it off. We tried milk. We tried cream cheese. We tried everything. So I'm excited. I'm excited to try these. They look very spicy. You want some, honey? No, thank you. Eat these. Eat no. these like you were eating the previous one. No, I'm okay. <laughs> Let's keep going.
And with that, you guys, the harvest is completed. We hope this video brought a smile to your face or it made you have a good time. Because I feel like that's also what social media is for, or maybe should be for. I, we also hope that you learned at least something new in this video, whether it's cutting tomatoes or <laughs> what type of plants to, uh, plant in Florida during this time. I'm showing you a little bit of everything and we hope that you enjoyed this video. So yeah. we're gonna say thank you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.